Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today's video again will be split into two parts. The first part, I'll talk about the changes they made to the ninja class and yes, you heard me right. Changes, not a change. As they made an extra nerf that I didn't mention in the previous video and most of you didn't even notice it. The second part will be an intense gameplay where I'll be back to isolated but with some help from my friend Omid. If you're from Iran then you already know him but if you're not then you should know that he's one of the best players in the server. I mean have you ever seen anyone with as many kills as him? I don't think so. If you guys want to check him out he has two channels. One is Persian and the other one is English. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the good news. They fixed the ninja class hook and now you will notice that it works most of the time except for thin objects like trees or thin building edges. It still needs accurate aiming for that. Second of all, they reduced the cooldown. So last season without an upgrade, the cooldown was at one minute. And in this season, it's 45 seconds. And after the upgrade in the last season, it was at 50 seconds. And in the new season, it only takes 30 seconds. As for the range, it still remains the same and you can hook from 40 meters away. Moving on to the bad news, in the last video I already mentioned that they nerfed the ninja by reducing the number of hooks. So without an upgrade you get 1 instead of 2 and after the upgrade you get 2 instead of 3. And if you think that is the only nerf they did to the ninja class then I have some bad news for you very bad news. Activision nerfed something else, which is the silent footsteps. If you check the description of the ninja class, you will realize that it grants silent footsteps beyond 12 meters range only. So here is how it works. As a ninja, you will get silent footsteps beyond 12 meters range and it doesn't matter if your class is upgraded or not. You will always be silent beyond 12 meters range. So what's the benefit of the upgrade? Well, first of all, it gives you an extra hook and second of all, it reduces the sound of your footsteps but it doesn't make it 100% silent. The enemy will be able to hear you easily if he's wearing headphones. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the nerf is fair or is it not? And are you gonna still use the ninja class even after the nerf? Personally, I still think it's a solid class and I will probably still use it. And the fact that they fixed the hook is extremely important for me and I was very happy to see that. Plus the faster cooldown kinda makes up for the hook nerf. All you need to do is just make sure you upgrade it. Now let's move on to the gameplay which had a very rough start and a 2v4 ending. And I'll be using the ninja class to see how badly it's affected by these nerfs. If you're wondering why I fell right off without opening my wingsuit, it's because I disabled the auto wingsuit option. And you can do that too from the settings. This allows you to surprise your enemies by falling right into their lap. And whenever I want to use my wingsuit, I just press this button right here, which shows up after jumping from heights. Back, 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 this. That way, boy. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tags and help him return to the battle. I have to heal him, though. I'm in box. He's 
Liberty West. The revived flight will arrive. One more for that. Ah, forty seconds. Let's get the dog tag. Yes. He's picking up, he's picking up, he's picking up. Bro, like... You can see him? We're engaging the enemies. Mod here. Run away, run away, I'm so far away. Pick up. The airdrop is coming. Enemy eliminated. Using adrenaline shot now. I'm picking up. Just strong way. To go for Edro. No, fuck that guy. Edro. Drop, 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 drop. Man, stop squad wiping these guys. Jesus Christ. Here, Ahmed wanted me to let the last player live to revive his team so that we can kill them again. But you guys know me. I can't resist the bloodthirst. After that, we went for the airdrop and we didn't even bother upgrading. I don't think it's necessary in this game. As long as we work together, we should be fine. Who is that? They could rush you like in a, in a fucking millisecond. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. Enemy down. Using adrenaline shot now. Another thing to keep in mind with the snowboard nerf, it's pretty much useless outside snowy areas. So try to have a vehicle with you at all times. This way you can reach objectives faster like airdrops and it allows you to reposition when needed in case you get outnumbered or third party by other squads. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah. Engaging. Engaging the enemy. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. One more able to hit him. Just come, come, come behind the car. Bro, this car doesn't move. What the fuck? This safe zone is collapsing. The airdrop is coming. Since we're in snowy areas, we don't need vehicles anymore and we can just use our snowboards. So we started picking off squads one by one while trying to stay close to each other in case one of us goes down.
coming. There's a lot of blood here, what the fuck? You guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did as always the like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace